Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the DX Zombie Breaker from Kamen Rider Geats. And this is the weapon that comes with the Zombie Raise Buckle. So you can see we have uh, Geats and Buffa here both shown with the Zombie Raise Buckle and they both use this weapon in the show. Uh, it is a giant chainsaw sword, which is a really neat idea. I think it looks great. I love the color scheme and everything here. Uh, taking a look at the rest of the box. Just kind of your warnings and whatnot. Uh, two watch batteries are included, so you don't have to provide your own batteries for this, which is nice. Uh, over here, we just have a picture of the zombie breaker. And then over here on this side, it's just kind of the picture wrapping around on the side. Spinning it around to the back, it shows you how to use it and the different sounds that it can make. And then just another pick of it up here with, again, Geats and Buffa. So pretty cool packaging. Uh, let's go ahead, let's get this out of the box, and we'll take a closer look. Here it is out of the packaging. I think it looks pretty cool. I really like the color scheme. I think the purple, black, and the gunmetal gray all really work well together. And I mean, it's a chainsaw sword. What's not to like? Uh, taking a look at the back, you can see that it's a little hollow up here. This is obviously one piece, this gunmetal gray piece. Uh, the chain, unfortunately, does not move around the blade, which would have been cool if you would hit the trigger and it would actually make it move around. I think that would have been neat, but I understand the mechanism for that probably would have been a little too complicated. Um... But yeah, it's just a shame, like I said, this part's hollow here, and then there's another gray piece attached to the bottom of the handle here, and that's kind of hollow on the back, which is a bit of a bummer. But for the most part, I think it looks pretty good. This is the battery compartment here. This is where you pull the tab out for the batteries. You have your on and off switch. Uh, this is a little slide here so that it can uh, connect to one of the raised buckle holders that go on the side of the belt. And I'll show that off a little bit later. But yeah, pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and turn it on. Speaker's right here. It says its name uh, when we hit the button. You get that chainsaw sound. If you hold it down, it will continuously go. And then you have this piece here that you slide up. Now the directions are very adamant about you not forcing it back down on your own. And you pull it all the way up, it will naturally slide back down. So if we just go ahead and pull this up. So it says poison charge, and then when you uh, let it, it'll naturally slide down. It'll give you some standby music, and then you hit the button, and it says tactical break. So I held it up there for a while just to kind of let you hear a little bit of that standby music, but you certainly don't have to. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, that's pretty much all that this does, uh, with the exception of being able to be held on the handle, which if you have the holder, I mean, if you have one of the holders here from that set, uh, you can hit the button so you can go ahead, you can put this on and have it hang straight down. You can tilt this to the side if you kind of like that look to have the sword kind of at an angle. Which I do think is cool. I like that, especially if you're cosplaying or something like that, to be able to just kind of store that. I think that's pretty cool. But yeah, that's unfortunately it. Um, definitely not anywhere near as functional as the Magnum Shooter 40X. Uh, it doesn't have a reader of any kind. You can't attach raise buckles to this. Even if it didn't have like a reader, even if it just had somewhere maybe like around here or something, or maybe down here on the handle or something, where you could just like attach any kind of buckle just for an additional sound of some kind, uh, would have been neat. But unfortunately, yeah, you basically have the, the one uh, chainsaw sound, the kind of holding it down sound, and then the poison charge. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, it's a, it's a bit of a bummer. I mean, I think it looks fantastic. I think it's a really cool designed weapon. 
Uh, the sounds that you do get, I think, are cool. I just wish it did a little bit more. Uh, like I said, maybe they could have made the chains move around, or like I said, have some kind of attachment somewhere uh, for a buckle, even if it wasn't a reader, just to kind of, you know, hit a button and make it produce a new sound, something like that, just to give it a little bit more playability. And if they couldn't do that, at least they could have maybe filled this in. I feel like, you know, it's not a huge problem to have these two sections down here be hollow, but considering how little this does, it would have been nice if at least it was kind of flawless in its, you know, design, or if it's, uh, not design, but in its presentation. I don't know what to say, but it, it could have just been aesthetically perfect if that's most of what it does, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But uh, yeah, it, it's cool. Do you need it? Probably not. I mean, unless you're going to be doing some some zombie cosplay or something like that, or if you really just love the design of the weapon and you want to get it, by all means. I mean, it's fun, but I just think you're gonna you're gonna run out of stuff to do with this pretty quick because it does unfortunately doesn't do all that much, which is kind of a bummer. Um, yeah, that's kind of all I have to say. Like I said, it's not bad. It's just not spectacular. If you have to choose between this or the Magnum Shooter, 100% get the Magnum Shooter. That has way more functionality. Um, if you're a completist, you know, or you just really love the design of this, go ahead and pick it up. There's nothing wrong with it. It just, you know, I think you'll get bored of it pretty quickly. I do appreciate that it has an on and off switch, though. Most of the time with items that have the batteries that you pull the tab out, there's no way to turn them off, so I do appreciate that. Uh, the Magnum Shooter was the same way. So very cool. Like I said, it's a cool weapon. It just, I wish it had more functionality. Maybe wait for a sale and then pick this one up. I can't imagine this one's going to be flying off the shelves, but maybe I'm wrong. I just wish it did a little bit more. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.